from heavy rain to drop become human. The interactive games of the world today have become more evolutionized. Alright? So, starting in 2010, there's a game that was released called Heavy Rain, right? Which is probably the most iconic, if not the the most iconic interactive game ever. Right? So this game, it, it's, it's in the first 20 minutes of the game, it's quite happy, you're with your family, and all of a sudden, it gets really sad real quick, really depressing. You you gotta find your son. It's it's really in, it's really in hectic. I I won't go into detail, but then people who haven't heard of Heavy Rain, they heard of the Telltale. They heard of the new developers Telltale when they created the Walking Dead series, and this Walking Dead series is based upon the topic. I mean, not the topic, <laughs> the comic. So. Uh, they're based upon the top comic, and so it follows. So, if you have read the Walking Dead uh, comic, you would know about what the endings are. But it only shows like one path, in a sense. But in this, you control the character that his name is Lee. You control everything he does. You control who he talks to, who he's nice to, and all of that. Like you save people in the first episode. You always save Doug. Or I forget this. Uh, I forget her name. I forget Carly, Caitlin. I don't know. Brittany? No, it can't be Brittany. Can't be Brittany. Um, but you save these people, and normally in these games you don't really save people, right? You're like, oh, who do I choose? Who do I choose? And most people choose the girl, so you can, you know, hook up with her. You know what I mean? Which I, I chose the girl, and like 88% of people chose the girl, I'm pretty sure. Um, but, yeah, like, throughout the series, you're literally on the edge the whole time, thinking who's gonna die, like, one choice can mean this person dies. And his people fall along the way that you get them connected to, like, uh, Duck, uh, Lee dies at the end, sorry for spoilers, spoiler alert. But Lee dies at the end. It's just hectic. Now, now this game is sad. But this, but this is like this like kicked off the interactive series. Like this is what made it big. That that's so big today. But another game that we're going to talk about later, and more games that we'll talk about later, even kicked off the franchise. Kicked off the. Inter interactive games. Like most games are interactive these days. If you haven't noticed, like. In FIFA, the journey, that is very interactive, like key decisions, like who you play as in the Champions League final, D Danny Williams or um, or Alex Hunter, Formula 1 even, um, and all that. It, it's, it's, very, it's getting very interactive, the games these days. Like, it's not just, there's a cutscene, you play, there's one ending, that's it. You can choose uh, two or more endings these days. I feel like, like even World Call of Duty's has been like that. In Black Ops 2, you could choose several endings. Like there was multiple endings where you did like multiple things in different missions, and that affected the ending. It's like that's like Detroit Become Human. They, they are related together, but on a different level. All right. So, Telltale had Telltale created their series. They created four games. They created Walking Dead Season 1, Walking Dead Season 2, and then they created a New Frontier, and then the final season. I should know they created 5, with Machone. Anyway. So they created 5 games, and those were very successful. Okay? And in 2015, a game came out, was called Until Dawn. Now, relating back to Heavy Rain, Heavy Rain is like Until Dawn. Okay? So this game is is like teenager based. Like it's not targeted at teenagers, anyone can play it. But um where you're set in an environment where you're on the hill, where you're on a mountain and there's a murderer on the loose. Supposedly. But ain't no murderer. Some blooming creature. I don't know what it is. It's a windigo. I've played the game before. Don't doubt me. 
Um, but it's set in like, like your relation, like you play as all all the characters. All I think it's, I think it's, I think it's eight characters. I think. So there's Mike, Emily, Matt, Chris, Ashley. I can't remember, but as you can tell, I played this game a lot of times. I've tried to get multiple endings, tried to see how multiple people um, depart, if you know what I mean, in the game, and all this. Um, but this game, it's like it, it really, it really kicked off, and it really like made made it evolutionize, cause. Eh, it was like it's what really kicked it off. Like not only Heavy Rain and Telltale kicked off the the interactives, but now it's it's really like made a mark. And it's like a horror. It's a horror game. So people are really in 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 detail about it, and they really like the game. And the reviews are amazing. Not sure about IGN's review though. Five out of ten. What is that? Right? I think it's five out of ten. But that game is is amazing, right? You feel connected to every single character. Most people hate Emily, and most people are uh, most people just want Emily to die right off the rip, no matter what. They're like, I want this, I want this bitch gone. Like they don't like her. When Mike when Mike gets the opportunity to shoot Emily, people are like, nah, <laughs> gornies, right? And with the twists and turns in the game, it's just amazing. Okay? I know I'm really bad at describing games and bad at videos. But, I've had this idea for ages and I've wanted to do it. Anyway, back onto topic, right? So, the other games that have come out are just like... <sighs> there's like... <sighs> what do you call it? Detroit Become Human. There's just multiple games. I can't remember a game that came out in 2016 that was an interactive. If you if you have, just go down in the comments below and just list this game. Be like, you're an idiot. This game came out in 2016 as interactive. But God, so Detroit Become Human was by the creators that made Heavy Rain. And Heavy Rain, anyone can die at any point. Same as Detroit Become Human, anyone can die at any point in the game. Someone can die. I think her name was Kara. She can die an hour into the game. An hour in. And anything can change. Like, I haven't done half of the stuff in that game. Like, you can get kicked out of Jericho. I didn't even know until my mate told me the other day. I didn't even know. But. I was like, hmm. This game has over a thousand endings, right? You can't, it's not. It's It will take you forever to get over a thousand endings on a game because you got to do all the chapters, right? And you got to play them over and over again. It'll get so tedious, so boring, and it'll get so long over the course of, a, over the course, of the over the, of the course of time, right? Part of my stuttering. See, I'm not going to cut that out because I know you like to. I know you guys like to hear me stutter. All right. Anyway. So, yeah, and like, the game, there's some games that are not interactive that actually might become interactive. Like, they're like, obviously, they're probably going to have one ending, or two endings, maybe. But, for example, like The Last of Us. Last of Us wasn't interactive. Well, it was, in a, in a way, but not really. No, 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 I think of it, it wasn't, because I, I played it again the other day. So I played it in ages. And, and, um... It's not in that interactive, like, you can't make many choices. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's, uh, I reckon Last of Us Part 2, you probably have two endings. Maybe there's gonna be a choice where you meet someone, it's either Joel dies, or this person dies, or you sacrifice Joel, Ellie dies, or something like that. Or Ellie gets torn to, torn to pieces by a pack of clickers, or something. Maybe along those lines, okay? But, like, these games have evolutionized so much, they have so much more detail, so much more can happen. It's because where every single playthrough, 
is going to be different every single time. Like th on the Walking Dead in the Telltale series, most of the most of the time, the whole game will be the same, right? The the same ending, the same the the, the same relationship with the characters most of the time. But like with one of the one of the characters, you can't change because he'll always be a he'll always be a fucking smartass to you and be a faggot. You know what I mean? And be an absolute nimwad. When was the last time I said nimwad? What the? A prick. Alright? But, yeah. But it feels like these games have evolutionized so much to the point where you're literally controlling everything in the game. There's going to be a point where you're actually going to be... The, these games are going to take so long to make, but they're going to be so worth it because you're going to be able to control everything. You're going to be able to control what happens in the game. You're going to be able to control the, 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 the speech. You might be able to create your own characters in the future. No. Actually, no. That, that's that's out of the question. But, like, the Telltale series, the Telltale company has really kicked it off. Telltale Games has really kicked it off. And Heavy Rain really started There were some games back in, like, 1992. Back on the older, old as consoles. But, they aren't as popular as the games that we live in now today. But, like, the Telltale, Telltale Games has made such great games, but it's always the same ending, I feel. It's like Game of Thrones that has the same ending, Batman, it seems like it has the same ending. I feel like they're, they're, they're very good games, like, there's many possibilities, but I feel like you always, I feel like you always get the same ending, no matter what you do. I mean, I haven't played all of the Telltale games. I haven't played like Walking Dead season one and season two. I played Batman. I played Game of Thrones, and I think that's about it, really. Because I remember, I, it's it's great. But now, on to the next big thing. Now this is gonna be a long video. It's gonna be like 16 minutes long because this is gonna go for a while. Now, there's interactive shows and movies. So. Have you heard of Black Mirror, the TV show? The TV show? Yeah, now there's a movie called Black Mirror Bandersnatch, where you, where it's it's interactive. Like you can make you can make choices here and there, like a pop up and saying this or this, and all that, and that affects the outcome. And there's 15 endings in that because I looked up a video on how many endings there were, and there's 15 apparently. Um, but. Like there's interactive, there's interactive movies, interactive TV shows. Like there's a, there was Minecraft Story Mode, that was created by Telltale as well. But there was Minecraft Story Mode on Netflix. It's on there right now. If you go look at it, bang, interactive. And but no, not many people do that one. But there's a new one that's come out recently. It's called You vs Wild. You know the the big star, uh, Bear Grylls. He, you choose every single one of his options. Like he says, we either got to do this, or we got to cross the log, or we got to, got to swing across to get to the other side, and then you choose one or the other. And it's it's very it's very intense. It keeps like it keeps the player like in, like it keeps the player like it keeps the person connected. The person who's either playing the game or they're watching the show. They keeps them on edge and connected. The whole entire time, to where like, like bang, a quick time event. Cause like, for example, <clears throat> when Chris was about to die by Windigo and until dawn, he, he um, he got, he got like he was getting chased, and like one decision, where, uh, you shoot yourself, where you shoot Chris, but, um. But you don't die because there's blanks and Josh is a psychopath or whatever. Right? Spoiler alert, so. But anyway. So, there's quick time events. And, like, these quick time events keeps the opponent... No, not the opponent. <laughs> keeps the player... Keeps you as a player connected to the game. And if the, and if you fail, that could be over. Like, you could lose this player. and You could lose this character in the game. You know what I mean? So, it's just like, it's just, it's just really fun, it's just really good. 
so it keeps the player on edge at all times. It's like this game I'm playing in the background, Beyond Two Souls. This keeps you on edge the whole time. These are quick time events I'm doing right now when I'm finding this dude. I have to go up, right, left, right on the blimmin' right analog stick, and here I failed. And then the, this one, I pressed, I went right, and I dodged the the crane or the hook. Yeah, the hook. But like these games are just evolutionized so much, it's just beyond amazing. Like they've evolutionized so much. This is this is a good game. I've almost finished it now. I think I'm on like the last like hour of it, I think. Um But I feel like more games are getting more evolutionized every single day in terms of like, interactivity. Where you can connect with the characters more, and if you lose that character, like the short become human, where like Kara or Marcus or Connor dies, you're you feel more connected now. <gasps> you're like what? You're like, what did I just do? And then you go back, and then you can do it. It's a it's like a completely different game with the short become human. Anyway, I've been talking for too long. I hope you guys have enjoyed this sort of different type of video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know, I know my speed, my commentary wasn't the best, but, anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed, a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.